the Vogue by Weapon Tester. Well, a Vogue, as you can see here, is typically a cleaver attached to a pole. Um, sometimes they've got a spike at the end. Uh, the later ones had a spike at the, on the on the uh, top and at the back there as well to just catch and hook. Um, this one here is one that can be purchased um, from an Indian uh, company. This is actually a, a late 14th century Swiss Vogue. Um, that particular one was 2.4 kilograms, 2.1 meters in length, and the head was 45. As you can see, they were around um, up to 10 feet, generally. And uh, this is how I received it. It came packed in uh, plastic, fairly well wrapped. And um, so the first thing I did was uh, get some poles or a pole for it, a little Tasman oak. And um, here I am putting it together. Okay, now I'm um, attempting to refine the head of the, the shaft um, so that the two parts of the bulb head can actually fit on it. Basically that's what makes it a uh, bulb. It's similar to a, to a, a glaive, but a glaive gen generally has a, a socket, um, whereas this is it's pretty much just got two um, Two uh, little rings that attach it directly to the side of the of the of the pole, um, and that's what makes it in particular uh, a bulb. Um, sometimes described as a cleaver on a pole. Um, they were quite popular um, with, with the French and, and also the Swiss, um, and was used for, for for around about a thousand years. Um, not really sure of its origin. Um, it could have been potentially um, like a, a plow type tool um, or formed from a tree pruning type tool or simply just a, uh, like an old cleaver attached to a um, stick for family defense being used for. Um, but now at this stage it's um, pretty close and it's a matter of uh, refining the, the top by pile now.
So now we're looking at the finished head of the pole. There are the two pieces which are going to be attached to the pole. There it is attached. And I put a screw at the back just to make sure it didn't turn in any way, shape or form. And there it is in comparison to uh, a number of my other weapons that I've made. This was not sharpened. I had to sharpen it myself and make the point myself. Um, that includes the back spike and the hole for the actual screw had to be done. That was quite tough. It was quite hard. part you can see I've actually shaved down the sides of the actual pole too so that you've got some idea of edge alignment. 